Hey everyone, welcome back to what's happening. So imagine this, you all, you're at work, you're on your break, and you're just sitting on the curb, eating your lunch, minding your business, not bothering anybody. And then all of a sudden, a man comes up with a gun, he drives by, asking you who you are, starts taking pictures of you, and threatens to call the police on you, and asking you who do you work for, which is absolutely none of his business so let's take a listen to what happened to this woman down in florida outside taking a break uh, a man rolled up in that truck and then rolled back and he asked me what company i work for i don't know who this man is uh, i did not feel comfortable giving him any of my information and so now he just took a picture of me and is saying that he's going to call the police so, <laughs> uh, so here we go. We'll see what happens. This man has a gun. He's now talking to my producer with a gun in his hand. So he's confirming the address with the police. I called my producer because I didn't feel comfortable leaving. A lot of times in these situations, if you leave, you're still in a bad situation. So he has a gun, it's in a holster, and he's talking now to my producer who I had to call. I, as a rule, I don't give out information, any of my personal information to somebody that, that I don't know. So now my producer's talking to the police. I can't speak with certainty on how the man identified i do know that he spoke spanish and i did get the impression that he didn't think i was going to understand him so i have talked a lot in other spaces not tiktok about racism perpetuated in communities of color and as a black latina i have family members who are darker than i am who have very different views about their blackness or lack thereof in their minds, and how they then operate in the world so that there's that thing. A lot of people I saw have been making comments asking, why didn't I video record him? I'm, or why am I not, am I gonna file a police report? No, I did not video record him. No, I am not filing a police report. I was happy to wait for the police because at that point, honestly, the police seemed like a safer bet than that gentleman gentleman that man um i don't call the police unless there is an emergency unfortunately i'm used to not feeling safe um so i don't know maybe i need to rethink that uh not looking for you to comment on that just a note uh, the police don't always seem like the safest option for me when things have escalated final thing that I want to mention and it's not expressed in this video or I think anywhere on TikTok but on other social platforms I shared this <laughs> I, I really don't give out information that I don't want to uh, because it's my personal information for a reason just for my own personal safety but also for the safety of others if I'm not sure who I'm giving information to I don't give out information um, because there are people who do some crazy stuff in this world. Um, also, the man <laughs> drove past me, drove back. I'm like, all right, he forgot something, no big deal. Goes back into his office, goes, gets in his truck again. And I kid you not, this is how fast he was driving as he approached the speed bump that I was sitting next to. And that seemed like a drastic decrease in speed to go over a speed bump and as it turned out he got to where I was rolled down his window and proceeded to stare at me say nothing just stare at me until I said sir can I help you that to me does not trigger anyone that I want to have my personal information um, so his approach to thinking that I was suspect was to in my opinion act suspect final thing that I'll say is I know that in Florida where I am right now there is the stand your ground law if you feel fearful 
for any reason, uh, you can use a weapon. Uh, I don't come from these streets. <laughs> That's not what I grew up with. The second thing is I learned later that I was on a property where anyone from that property can ask someone else to leave if they feel they don't belong there. Now, I was at work, so that doesn't necessarily apply to me. But again, in a case where a person approaches me in a way that I don't feel comfortable and honestly doesn't believe me when I say I work in the other building and I'm on a break, if I hadn't called my producer, I'm not really sure what would have happened. So these are just the facts as I um, experience them. And also, we have states that allow this type of behavior. So if you really want to support me and nameless others, if you live in Florida or a state where there's stand your ground, maybe start educating yourself on that because you'd make it a lot safer for people who are likely to be racially profiled while sitting on a curb, eating a granola bar while on a break. Now, some people said that her video was useless because she didn't expose this man. She did not show his face and she did not show his license plate. But my question is, why do people do these type of things? Why do people take the time to worry about what somebody else is doing or to worry about who you work for, why you're here? Tell me in the comments below, why does this continue to happen? And do you think she did the right thing by not putting the camera in his face? I thank you guys for watching and listening and I'll talk to you in the next video. Please give this one a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.